made it to Seattle and girl, worst flight ever. That's what I get for flying spirit. Okay, period. Um, there was a lot of ghetto ratchet people on there with a lot of ghetto ratchet kids making all this noise. It was so loud. I couldn't even read, but thank God for my new headphones. They have like that noise canceling thing. Girl, works so good, but it was just still a lot. That's how you know I'm getting old. I just can't, <laughs> I just can't deal. So I'm on my way to the baggage claim now. And we actually got here early. So let me get my bags, get my Uber, go hit my hotel. Cause I need to check in the hotel before midnight. So I'm gonna check in the hotel real quick. Go find me some food and I need a cocktail, like period. something i said girl listen i i'm exhausted i just had a terrible flight I, I thought she was gonna come over here but apparently girl she busy she said she at the gym and and something else and her friends wanted to come meet me and i said okay well i'll, I'll catch up with y'all tomorrow i am like exhausted and i'm hungry and so i was i was looking for uh something to eat outside of the hotel but uh, everything seems to be closed down here in Seattle. Even downtown, everything that's open right now, um, it's like bars and stuff. So I don't want any bar food. I really wanted some pho. I, well, last time I was here, I uh, found this pho place that said they had amazing pho. They have like a Chinatown here and a little Saigon here. But um, I guess it's closed. So I was just like, you know what? I'll go downstairs because they have a really nice restaurant downstairs and a bar. They have really nice cocktails and like little bites, but they're like not bar food. It's like, you know, food food. So we'll just go ahead and do that. I also paid for the, the all you can eat breakfast again, even though I want to have breakfast somewhere else tomorrow. I want to like try to go to like a brunch or something tomorrow. Um, so I'm going to research that tonight and see what's up with that. I just always buy the breakfast here because I just love the Citizen M's breakfast. Just in case I don't get to go out, girl, we, we get to go to the really nice buffet. Because I feel like the Citizen's M breakfast buffet is really, really nice. So Anyway, I'm not even about to unpack my stuff. I'm just like, I'm going to go down there and get me a drink and get me some food. And then I'll like unpack everything and get comfortable but right now girl we about to go find something to eat downstairs <laughs>
good morning good morning girl it's like what time is it girl it's 9 53 i was supposed to get up earlier so i could take a walk um, I really didn't feel like going to the gym. This place has the gym, but I, I just, girl, I'm just kind of like, I feel like I'm getting kind of tired of the gym. It's like not exciting anymore. So that's one of the reasons why I opted for Pilates too. Like I bought a bunch of Pilates classes that I'm going to start taking, but I've been taking walks lately. I just have been like walking around my neighborhood and like, you know, walking and just trying to have some physical activity. So I feel like walking is kind of like the best for me. I'm not a runner or anything. So I wanted to get up and walk around downtown here. But girl, it's so late. I have to meet Sunny and her and her home girl at 10.30-ish. Not 10.30, but like 10.30-ish, girl. Because Sunny is always late. So um, we're going to brunch. We're going to a place that I found on Yelp. I found two places. One of the places is called Skalka, and they have, like, this this egg thing. Let me show y'all. I really want to go here, but I don't think the girls are going to like it. Oh, my charger is stuck. Hold on. I don't think the girls are going to like it. It's like, um... It's like an egg boat with like bread and stuff like this. It's like an egg boat with like bread and stuff and different like things inside of it. So, you know, these are kids, girl. These are like young adults. They're not going to like something like that. So, it was either out of that. I'll probably go to that tomorrow because I really, really, really am interested in that. Um, it was either out of that or this one called Ben Paris and it's inside of the state hotel which is not far from here and they have regular stuff girl like this you know you know the pancakes and stuff and I think it's like French it has coffee yeah so it has regular stuff like that it has cocktails coffee different stuff so and it's a little bit more aesthetically pleasing because I feel like you know, like when I meet new people, I want to kind of take them to nice places because, of course, I'm going to pay for the girls. They're college students, girl. They don't have any monies. So I'm going to pay for the girls. So I just feel like it should be a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. This is my first time meeting her home girl. So I'll just, I'll save the Skulka for tomorrow, girl. We'll, we'll go to Skulka tomorrow. Maybe Sunny will want to go. I don't know. She doesn't like cheese and different stuff, so. You know the girly. So I was supposed to get up and walk, but it's getting too late. I want to put some makeup on. I got some cute jeans from Zara I want to wear. And then maybe after, maybe after breakfast, we'll go to the Pike Market because I don't know. Or maybe after breakfast, we'll do something. Maybe we'll go to Pike Market, to Pike Market tomorrow because I wanted to go to Pike Market and like eat some of those oysters and stuff and perhaps buy some seafood to get shipped home because the last time we came here um we found the seafood place well there's a lot of seafood places in there but one of them was like they ship it home to like your home so i was like oh girl let me get some fresh seattle seafood ship it home so i don't know we'll play it by ear girl maybe we'll play it by ear but i want to get dressed i want to look real cute put some makeup on it looks a little cold outside let me see the um let me see the weather shop. It look a little cold. <clears throat> What's the weather? Yeah, it's 52 degrees with fog. It's 52. Mm. So yeah, I'm gonna have to put my little jacket on. I bought a few I brought a few jackets with me. I also wanted to take Sunny to Target if she wanted anything. Or if she needs anything from Target and get some water for her because she needs like lots of water and stuff. So we'll do a little bit today and yeah, we'll do a little bit today and then I guess we'll just play it by ear. But anyway, girl, let me get ready. Let me get ready real quick because it's 
it's about that time so i don't really have that much time now it's 9 58 now i really don't have time hey you guys so this is what i'm wearing zara jeans my thugs not my uggs girl my thugs i don't know why there's like black lines in here i don't know if you guys are seeing these like vertical black lines i think it's because like the lighting or something every time the lighting does that my phone does that because i'm trying to save the battery on my camera but anyway i'm wearing my zara jeans my um little brown duster i have like this beige regular tank top on and then i have my thugs not my uggs honey my thugs i call um uh, my fake uggs thugs sunny has my real ones so i need to get me some more let's go Okay, guys, so I'm here with the girls. Um, girl, look, <laughs> she's back. She's back, girl. Girl, look, so we didn't have any reservations for that breakfast thing, so they took my number there, so they're gonna text us when it's ready. So right now we're just walking around. We're close to the Pike Market, so I'll take me a photo or two, a cute little cozy fall photo of my outfit while we waved. So that's what we're doing. We're just literally walking. Oh, and you guys, me, Serena. This is Sydney's friend. Hi. This is Sydney's friend. We're sisters. We're yeah, sisters. they're sisters. They look really crazy. They look quite like <laughs> it looks really crazy. Okay, girl. So I just I just took some pictures. We're sitting here at the Pike Market. It's just like a little bit ways from the breakfast because you know we're waiting or whatever. I took some pictures right here in this background. See? It's okay, I guess. It's not like I want it. I want it kind of in the sun, like, you know, because Seattle's all about the flowers on the side and all that, but whatever, it's good for now. We'll, we'll be back outside, girl, taking pictures. We'll, we'll be back outside. So follow me on Instagram so you can see the pictures, but I feel like, I feel like they're okay. Like, this one definitely is okay. Girls, back at the room so breakfast was a success even though it took forever to actually get the breakfast so it kind of became brunch because like we we literally were on like the waiting list for like an hour or so note to self and you're in Seattle and you go to Ben Paris you definitely need a reservation because it was just it was crowded especially and today's saturday so that could be a thing too but it was so crowded we waited an hour but i feel like it was worth it because the food was good service not so much but whatever so anyway i'm back at my hotel um sunny and i decided that we'll do pike market tomorrow and get what she wants tomorrow tonight we'll go to the movie theater so i need to figure out what i'm gonna wear but right now i'm outside and i feel like the sun it's just hitting perfect. So I'm gonna take a picture because I wanted like an outside picture with this outfit. So let me take a picture real quick and I'm gonna get back with y'all in the room. Look what I got. <laughs> Girl, listen, we, we on vacation. Okay, we are on vacation. So I went to lobby and got me something called a blueberry bliss. It has like a cute little like rose in here or something, look cute and it's good okay period so um so it has been decided um we since brunch or breakfast took forever and it ended up turning into brunch the girls had their own plans or whatever so they wanted to like do their thing and then sunny and i are gonna go to the movie so we're gonna go to the movies tonight and we're gonna see the new joker movie girl i heard it was so stupid though everybody keeps saying that it's complete trash but you know what i still want to see it just because i love the joker series like i just i love all the joker movies um people were saying that there's a lot of singing in the movies is that true girl like i mean lady gaga is in there and i love me some lady gaga so i mean i'm gonna still see it hopefully it's not trash because i even seen some tiktoks of people saying like if they sing one more time i'm gonna walk out <laughs> whatever i'm like oh my god so 
So it has been decided. We're going to go see a movie. I don't even know what I'm going to wear, to be honest with you. Like, um, I don't feel like wearing those jeans because they're so long. I keep, like, walking on them. So, honestly, I don't think I want to get dressed up. I'll probably wear makeup, though, because you know what? I'm going to go meet Sunny at her dorm. I'm actually going to leave here, like, an hour early. Um, we have reservations for a movie at 7.15. However... Um, Sunny's dorm mate and some of her friends want to meet me because like I'm on social media or whatever they <laughs> they think I'm like some I don't know maybe like a huge influencer to the girl I don't, I don't know I'm I'm nobody honestly I'm just I'm just Sunny's mom but they want they want to meet me so I'm gonna leave maybe an hour early head to her dorm meet the girls and the guys there's like some guys to meet the kids girl and then we're gonna go to the movie so i'll probably put a little bit of makeup on just so i can look a little presentable and not too scary girl so i don't know what i'm gonna wear i want i want to get a nice photo with one of my black dresses from my outfit online just because i've been wanting i've been dying to like get dressed with that dress that dress is really nice so i'll probably do that before i leave but I'm thinking of just wearing what I wore to the airport, like, for the movie. Because it's really not that serious. We're we're literally just going to a movie, you know. So, it's about 2.37 now. The movie's at 7.15. So, I'll probably start getting ready, like, like, 5 or something. Take my picture and then head out there about 6. And chill with the kiddos for a little bit. Be inspiring, you know, to them. And then we'll head on to the movies and stuff. And then tomorrow, I guess we'll go do the things we're supposed to do. Take care of business. Go to Target. Get her what she needs. Pike Market, girl. Because I wanted to get some oysters. I wanted to get some oysters. But because we ate so late, I'm not even that hungry. So I'm probably not even going to eat dinner. I'll probably just eat something at the movie or something in the lobby here. So it has been decided that is the plan. I'm just going to take my makeup off so I can start over later. I'll probably um, edit this video that I did um, that I want to get out before this video. I'll probably do that. Make a TikTok or edit my TikTok because I'm back on TikTok, girl. So. I have some videos that I want to make into a TikTok too, so. I'll probably just chill here and have my little cocktail, girl, okay? And then um, later on, I'll catch up with y'all. Hey, y'all, so no makeup. And I got my new little crop top on. Let me show you guys what I have on. So we're going to the movies. Can y'all see? Girl. I love this room, but it's so tiny, so I can't, I don't know if y'all can see, but it's just my little airport pants, black crop top, skincare is already done, that's why I was like, girl, no, I'm not about to, I'm not about to put any makeup on, so I'm getting ready now, all of my devices, let me put in my purse, and let me call my, uh, uber and i'm probably going to vlog the rest of tonight on my phone because y'all know my camera be tripping when it's too dark and i don't feel like attaching the light girl so the rest of this day until i get back for the hotel is probably going to be on the phone okay home g y'all the uber dropped me off Wait, I, girl i i can't even talk the Uber dropped me off way too far, so I'm walking up the hill, bro. I didn't even take a walk, but now I'm taking a walk, okay? Here's... Oh, Sunny came and saved me. Girl. It is booming downtown, girl. Hmm? It's upstairs? Girl, get up. Get up. We didn't do our walk yesterday, so today we're going to do our walk, okay? Get up, girl. We, we got to do our walk today. And, and, 
I want to do it before so I have time to like take a shower get ready and all that because girl we're going to that Skalka place for breakfast with those like egg boats we're gonna go today oh oh it's thirsty I don't know if Sunny's gonna go because I know she she got some things to do with her friends today and so me and her are just supposed to go to Target and get her the stuff that she needs today and like waters and stuff like that um so I'm not sure if she's she's gonna go but girl we're gonna make sure we're on time okay because it opens at nine o'clock because these places in Seattle ain't playing if you don't have a reservation it's a wrap. You're going to be waiting hours. Yesterday, we waited almost two hours to get to that brunch. So, without a reservation. No, girl. We're going to be on time. Get up. Let's go. You know, girl, I'm starting to wonder why these companies can't make regular leggings. Like, the scrunch butt situation is just not working for me. I don't know what it is about the scrunch buddy, but it's really... It's really scrunch buddy and it's getting on my nerves it doesn't feel comfortable it either gives me a, a uncomfortable wedgie or a camel toe and it's just like you know I don't know why y'all can't make regular leggings anymore it's like every time I shop for leggings it's got to be a scrunch butt it's like I can never find just regular regular leggings anymore girl what's going on in the world today scrunch butt is taking over okay girlies we're out here i'm just rounding the block at first because i'm not sure exactly where i'm at it's not like la where i know like everything for sure so i'm just rounding the block right now of the hotel if I feel comfortable I'll venture out and I'll go a few more times but I have my jacket on because girl it's cold I think it's like 58 degrees today but nonetheless still a beautiful day Okay, y'all, I ventured out a little bit and I discovered a Capital One Cafe. Like, you know, the credit card company Capital One, girl? Look. Capital One has a cafe? It looks nice, too. Look. Y'all see it? Girl. It says featuring Verb coffee roasters I'm gonna have to check girl I'm gonna have to check that out for y'all know what Capital One is right I'm sure every one of the girlies has had a Capital One card before you got your credit together and got your Amex girl because I know I'm one of those girls <laughs> I used to have a Capital One card girl and I messed that up in my early 20s and I had to fix my credit and then I was able to get my Amex card okay so either way I can't stay in Capital One, but I'm about to go visit that cafe. Girl, I looked up the hours for the Capital One thing. Tragically, it's closed on Sundays, but it's open Monday. So we'll be here tomorrow. First thing in the morning, opens at 7 a.m. I would like to see that. But in other news, I found a Starbucks. <laughs> go to Starbucks. Y'all, come look what I found. Look how pretty. Look at this area. Y'all see it? It's called, I guess this is downtown Denny Park. Hmm. I'm back at the hotel, right? <clears throat> I ended up doing two more rounds around the block and I ventured out a little bit more so all together I think I did about maybe a mile if not two and while I was rounding the block 
I'm just catching up on like social media and everything right on my phone I posted my get ready with me video because YouTube let me know that it was um, ready because I, I tried to post it last night but um YouTube I don't know what what YouTube was on I don't know if it's because I don't have service around here even though I have Wi-Fi with this hotel or what like I don't know what happened but it finally was ready so I was posting it and I'm just you know I'm just doing things I'm scanning my receipts right now for fetch girl y'all know about fetch Haney. make sure you get that app and scan your receipts so you can get your money back from all your purchases girl I have a video that I went to Target I'll link it in the um cards above if you guys haven't seen that video about how I save my fetch gift cards and get my money back but anyway Girl, I'm just catching up on social media. No, I haven't really been on Facebook. Um, I have a group on Facebook, so I, I haven't really checked it because I have moderators who um, know I'm on vacation, so they, they, um, you know, post and stuff. So I'm, I'm checking, you know, social media, and I see this post on my timeline. It's, it's like a broken window on a truck, and this girl is all like, you know, talking about how just messed up the world is her date's car got broken into while they were on their first date or something like that and i'm just looking at it i'm like dang like that's crazy where is this at <clears throat> it was in texas and um i was just reading into the post just being nosy i don't know this person mind you I i'm just being nosy because i'm like where were they at on the first date you know girl and i'm reading into the post and she talking about some Girl, this was her first date with this man, and he invited her to the club, and after the club, they went to the food truck, and that's that's how he got his car broken into. They were at food truck eating some food, car was parked over there, and then it just got broken into, I guess. And this is what I'll be talking about when I say the bare minimum I, I couldn't even think about you know the, the car being broken into because all I heard was this man took me on a first date to the club in a food truck and this is what I be talking about when I when I be talking about the bare minimum sometimes I get to ranting and raving and I talk about the bare minimum in my vlogs and stuff and girl If a man, especially on my first date, if a man invited me to the club in a food truck, I, I'm going to be a no call, no show. Like, respectfully. But, I don't know. That's all I wanted to say. That's all. Girl, I just called the Uber truck and he's already here. <sighs> so I'm rushing to get to him because he has set me on a timer, honey. They be out here waiting, okay? Seattle got it going on with the Uber. Anyway, y'all. Let's head over here to the Skalka and get us a breakfast boat. Breakfast boat. I can't wait. Hey y'all, I made it here. I got a seat and this is the one that I'm getting. I'm getting the Lobiani. It's red beans, bacon, pickle, red chili peppers, and the egg and the butter look. That's the one I'm getting. Girl, I'm excited. It says that it's organic butter and like organic eggs or something. And I'm wondering how the bread tastes. I'm wondering, because it doesn't say what type of bread it is. So I'm wondering if it's like a white bread or a French bread or a brioche bread or what. It just looks, it just looks so damn good. It just looks so good. <laughs> okay, y'all. Let me try it. Let me see. It's a little different from the picture on Yelp. It was supposed to have like red 
peppers and they gave me like these yellow peppers but it still has the bacon and the chili so let's see so the bread hold on let's let's take the bread so off the bat So the bread, I feel like it's a traditional white baked bread. I wouldn't say French, just like a traditional white. This is good. This is like, I would say, like a comfort food thing. I feel like this fits well with Seattle because it gets it gets cold here. So I can see someone coming here and eating this when it's cold. It's very cheesy. I feel like they put ricotta cheese on here. Maybe mozzarella. I can do without the peppers. I feel like these banana peppers. Mm -mm. I can do without these. It also has bacon in it. So. Yeah, this, this is definitely good. This is definitely worth coming here. <laughs> y'all and tore this bowl down i'm eating the bread now it's so good like this organic butter and whatever it makes it all buttery and flavorful Girl. i can't eat the whole bowl though i feel like it but i feel like i have to stop myself because girl sunny is coming she on her way Today's the day we supposed to be shopping. She needs stuff at Target. She needs stuff from the grocery store, like water and stuff. She wanna go to this um this Pike Market again, honey. She about to have me walking. Sonny about to have mama walking. So I can't even eat the whole thing. Or I'm gonna be exhausted. I'm gonna be tired. One thing about me, when I get completely full, I'll be exhausted. Get lazy, get the itis, bro. So let me stop myself now before I get too cool. But Sunny's on her way, she's gonna meet me here because I'm literally across the street from this Ferris wheel over here. And I think I'm close to the Pike Market because I remember from the Pike Market you can see the Ferris wheel, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm on the other side or what but i know i'm close to it so she might as well come down here and meet me and we head down there and he is here and we're on the move we're on foot so we're walking to the pike market and she wanted to get some oysters and just hang out and then later we'll get some um shopping done like target and little things that she needs oh cha and I'm suffering and I, and I took my walk this morning now I'm walking up a hill I did not know that there was levels to the pike place so we were just on the third floor which is like some shops and restaurants now we're on the fourth floor and there's more shops this is crazy so that one level where I was at last time it's not just it there's levels to the shit literally girl listen i'm back at the room because i bought some seafood and i wanted to put it in this refrigerator here so i can eat it tonight with a cocktail baby so let me see this uh i feel like this refrigerator oh it's cold okay let me show y'all let me show y'all what i got they came and cleaned my room too they didn't clean my room yesterday they came and cleaned my room too so my room is clean let me show you guys what i got while i put it in the refrigerator oh my god so 
sorry, the lighting is all crazy. Sunny on the bed, girl. She she's taking over my bed. But look, look what I got. Ooh, it's leaking. This is their sashimi tray. Fresh sashimi with fresh uh, salmon and tuna. Girl, this salmon looks so, look. It looks so fresh. So I'm about to put that in there. And look what Sunny got. Sunny got this. Look at that. It's a shrimp cocktail. Look, I'm so fat. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm so excited and fat, girl. And then, and then look. It's these little shooters. Those shooters that, that I got last time, y'all, that I was so excited to get. So these are the oyster shooters. They already have cocktail sauce, lemon sauce and is it cocktail lemon and something else mix no you have to mix that in yourself it's just like no it has stuff in here already it's like cocktail and lemon sauce already mixed in here i think it's just cocktail sauce oh okay it might be it might be just cocktail sauce but the last time i was here and i got these it was cocktail and lemon sauce so these are oyster shooters these are like my favorite thing they're five for 25 so i got five and sunny got five so we just came back to the room real quick since since the room is like right here. We just came back real quick to um put them in the refrigerator so we can continue to like shop throughout the day because you know you don't want to carry around um these in the sun and all that. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, back to the shenanigans outside. <laughs> hey y'all, back outside. I'm about to do a ginger shot real quick. Okay, back outside, we got some juices. And we're just walking around the Pike Market again on the top floor. Okay, you guys. So we are at Target. We finally made it. And we are shopping for some essentials for her. Apparently she cooks at her dorm. So she wants some little food, y'all. She cooking with that pot I sent her. Ain't that something? Never cooked at home. But she gotta cook there. <sighs> oh, Jesus Christ, girl. I am home. I have not turned the camera on because it was dying. So I'm gonna charge. I'm gonna charge my battery, girl. I literally have been in the Uber maybe like eight, nine times. I should have like a thousand Uber credits by now. We literally went, okay. I filmed Target. I think that was the last I'll show you guys where I was at. So let me set y'all down while I talk. We went to Target. Well, first we went to the Pike Market, got some seafood, came back here to put the seafood in the refrigerator. So that way we're not walking around, you know, with um, the seafood making it hot or whatever. Then we went to Target to get all of um, Sunny's like essentials that she needs for like the month or whatever. So um, went to Target because I, I I know she can get it herself, but I like to come here and be useful. So I, I like to when I come here to get her stuff so she doesn't have to worry about that you know she doesn't have a car and you have to uber everywhere and she has all these classes so i'd rather just be of assistance while i'm here so we went to target got all of her stuff on her list ubered back so we ubered from target to my room to get her seafood out of the refrigerator and then room and then ubered to the dorm to drop off her target stuff 
Then we found a Safeway, which is a Vons in California. Um, funny story, I used to work for Safeway um, in my college days. I did like that mystery shopping thing. So Safeway is is um, Vons, but here is Safeway. So we ended up finding a Safeway, which was like very close to the dorm. And we went to Safeway and we found Evian waters because that's what we've been looking for. She likes either Fiji or Evian because y'all already know, girl, I, I said this in the previous vlogs, all of the other waters that you're drinking are not right. Like there, there are people doing like pH tests on waters on TikTok and Fiji and Evian was the only one that really like passed. So we kind of like to drink Evian and Fiji only because there's just too many chemicals and stuff, you know, causing cancer and all this stuff. So, um, we went and found her some Evian water. So we've been finding Fiji at Target, but for some reason, the Targets that are close in the area, they don't have the Evian. So Safeway has the Evian. So we ended up getting all of the waters that she needs, all of the drinks that she needs, all of the essentials, all of the everything, girl. And so from from Safeway, we Ubered back to the dorm and then I Ubered back here. <laughs> okay. So I like, it is, what's, what time is it? I don't even know what time it is. That's my phone. Well, it is, it's 410. I've literally been out since I went to Skalka at like, 9 30 ish it opened at 9 and i went like 9 30 ish girl i've been out <laughs> all day but at least i got to be useful and help my daughter get her life together so she can focus on school that's the point of us being here so now i'm free and i get to do what i want <laughs> girl now i'm free and i get to do it out so i'm exhausted <laughs> okay i'm about to take my shoes off um I do, I do want to put my dress on and take me a little photo or two in the lobby while nobody is there because there's like a really cute background that I want to try to take a picture by in the lobby. And, and girl, I feel like I need a drink. <laughs> I need a cocktail. Um, I was going to go out to dinner tonight. Uh, I found a cute steakhouse here called The Butcher Shop. But you know what, girl? I'm so tired. My feet are killing me. Like, I think I'll eat down here um, at the nice restaurant down here. Or I'll just eat my oysters because I did get some oyster shooters and some sashimi. So I can just have me a little cocktail downstairs just to be in the mix real quick. And then take me a cocktail to go up here, have my oysters, and just woosa. I might. Here's what I'm thinking also, girl. I might end up going tonight to do a test run of the monorail. So I was thinking the last time we were here, I saw that you can take the monorail all the way to the airport for only $2.50. Now, <laughs> am I the type of girl to go on adventures? Not really, but I kind of want to try it. I mean, the monorail is like the subway. And then, of course, it'll cost less, even though I, it doesn't really matter. I'd rather pay for comfort. So I'd rather pay for Uber if it's going to get me there to the airport on time tomorrow. But, like, I kind of just want to try to take the monorail, girl. I've never really been on an adventure like that. <laughs> so I kind of just want to try it. So I might do a dry test run tonight. And if I do, Sunny wants me to call her so she can come over and we can she can come with me to do the test run. So I might do that, depending on how I feel. After I have my drink and relax and stuff, I might, I might do that, girl. We might go on a little adventure, so we'll see. Anyway, let me put my makeup on. Let me get comfortable because I, I need, I need to give me a cocktail like ASAP. Okay, you guys, I am down here at the lobby and I took me some pictures, so I'm feeling good. The first like three pictures, eight. Period. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna stop because I think I. I achieved what I was looking for. Then I got me a drink. Girl, I got the same drink as, what was it, last night I had a blueberry bis? Or was that Friday night? Whenever I got that, like, purple looking drink with the rose, girl, it looks completely different. Like, look. And it has some blueberries in it. And then I asked the man who made it, I was like, look, I got this drink yesterday. And this ain't the drink. And he was like, oh, it depends on how you make it, I guess. 
I mean, I used to be a star gender girl, so it's like, if you can't recreate the same drink, are you really a bartender or what? <laughs> so anyway, I'm just enjoying myself. I'm enjoying the ambiance. There's hardly anybody in here, but I don't care. I'm just having a good time. I got to put my makeup on. I was already being a mom all weekend. Now I get to sit here with myself and I'm just chill and people watch because there's like a huge window right here where you can literally just watch the street and I'm probably gonna have me another drink and then I'll probably go to bed. <laughs> I don't know. Bro, listen, I'm back in the room. Girl, I was looking at that menu downstairs and I was like, no, it's time to go. Like, they have stuff like rosemary fries and empanadas. I'm like, girl, it is late. It is like, what time is it? Girl, it's 8.03. I can't be eating like that. And then I remember that I had that seafood, that seafood from earlier, my um oyster shots. So I'm about to eat one. Well, I'm actually about to eat them all. <laughs> I'm about to eat them all. Because I'm so hungry. But, like, girl, I can't be eating all that. I'm, I'm trying to lose weight. We trying to be elevated. It's about to be 2025, girl. I'm trying to lose some weight. Like, I need to lose. I, I already lost. I had first lost seven pounds. And then I gained four pounds back. So, like, I don't know. My weight is all over the place. But I'm going to do my best to lose weight. Like, Sunny has already lost six pounds. But that's because she's been walking a lot and stuff. Because, you know, she doesn't have a car. She's in college. so And there's, like, a lot of hills here in Washington. So, she's been walking up and down the hills. And she's lost six pounds. So, maybe I need to do that. Maybe I need to walk more, move my body more. I don't know. I signed up for some Pilates classes. So, we'll see, girl. We'll see what happens. But... I, I just wanted to eat my my seafood and then I have um and then I have this sashimi box in here <sighs> girl this might be the vibe for tonight <laughs> even though I should be sleeping because it's late you know you shouldn't eat I feel like you shouldn't eat past five but oh well mm. Mm. Girl, somebody is texting me. He ain't texting me right now. I'm eating. Mmm. And it's good, too. Like, I'm loving these shooters. I'm gonna have to learn how to make these. It's like the cocktail sauce and the lemon sauce already, like, added into it. Oh, my God. Mm mm mm. Mm. Mm mm mm. Child. Am I gonna eat them all tonight? <laughs> Am I gonna eat them all tonight, girl? Before I go to bed. What's up? Just one more and then we'll save the rest for tomorrow. Because I don't leave until like lunchtime. So I guess the rest will be my lunch. And the sashimi will be my lunch. Hopefully. Pray for me that I don't wake up in the middle of the night, girl. Mmm. Gotta love that Seattle seafood. Gotta love that Seattle seafood. Good morning, y'all. It is 6.30 in the morning. I woke up at like 5 because my alarm went off, like for work. But today is a holiday. And so I got up and I really was like, uh, like I forgot that I was here in seattle like thinking i had to go to work and then i look around i'm like girl <laughs> you don't have to go to work today <laughs> this is crazy so i went back to sleep 
and now it's about 6 30. I'm about to go downstairs and get some breakfast. I'm about to open up this Rojo juice that we got at the uh, Pike Market. I forgot about it. It was in my um, purse because I was so busy in mom mode trying to get my daughter situated and shop everything. I totally forgot it was even in there. Mmm. It's actually good. Mm. The one I got was basil lemonade. Basil rosemary lemonade. Or something. Good. I like the packaging. It looks like a little IV bag. Anyway, so I'm about to get up and I guess I'll have breakfast at the hotel because I paid for it for all of these days. I just never went down there and got it. So because I wanted to like you know find some other different breakfast but I'll go down there and have breakfast it starts at six so I'll probably go down there now before it gets too crowded um my flight is at I think it's at one something and I actually board at 12 so what I'm about to do is I think I'm gonna leave here. I wanted to see Sunny one more time, but I know she, yeah. So my flight leaves at 1.33 and I probably have to board at like 12, let's see. Yeah, so my boarding, I board at 12.48. So I'll probably leave here like, Airport's like I think 30 minutes away, so I'll probably leave like 9 30, 9 45 or something, almost 10. Because I feel like if I leave 10 and there's traffic, it'd be cutting it close. So I don't know. Maybe I'll maybe I'll leave like 10. I don't know. We'll see. I don't board till 12 33. And I have clear. So hopefully it's just not busy. But it is a holiday, so I don't know. But maybe I'll just leave like 9, 10 o'clock. I was gonna go down to that Capital One capital one uh, cafe that we saw yesterday on our walk but girl when i looked it up there's no food there it's just coffee so i'm just like mm, no i'm kind of hungry i want some food since i didn't eat dinner and opted not to eat a late night dinner like i'm kind of hungry so we'll just eat the breakfast downstairs so let's get up Let's get up and see what they got. I guess I guess I'll skip my walk today, girl. Like we are not doing good at working out at all. <laughs> I forgot to show y'all, so I'm gonna wear them today, just cause they so comfortable. I bought these at the Target yesterday. They're like these really long, really comfortable sweatpants, and they fold over like this. They don't have these at my Target, girl. So I was like, mm mm, I'm about to buy these, honey. So yeah, this is what I'm wearing. I'm probably gonna wear end up wearing these to the airport. Probably gonna end up wearing them to the airport, girl. So let's get down here and see what they got for breakfast. I'm gonna take my juice. Okay, girl, I'm back at the room, and I'm about to start getting packed up. Normally, I pack the night before, but I was so tired, girl. I didn't get to pack anything. I have plenty of time, though. I have at least an hour. So, I'm going to pack the room. 
I guess I'll, I have dishes in here from downstairs. I'll probably take them down when I'm ready to leave. So I don't have to continuously keep going down there back and forth, back and forth. So let me get myself together. Let me make sure all of my devices are charged and everything first before we start packing. flight has been delayed 10 minutes so at first it was like 12 38 now it's 12 48 so I feel a lot better <laughs> because I was rushing I was like I like to get to the airport early because you just never know it's 30 minutes away from here so traffic all that so I did another uh, round of just checking to make sure I have everything and I do so now I'm gonna check out bring these dishes down there and I'm going to end this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. And I will see you guys in Vegas. Bye.